Dear learners, welcome you all to e-learning platform. Now we have reached week 3. In this week we will learn major themes and symbols appeared in Jena written by Charlotte Bronte, who published a novel with a masculine pen name Carbell. Me first Lahamed with you throughout this lectures. Let's begin. Major themes in Jainair Family, Fire and Ice, Religion, Social Position, Gothic Elements, and Feminism, or the position of female in the society, in the male dominating society. Family The main quest in Jainair is Jain's search for family, for a sense of belonging and love. However, the search is constantly tempered by Jane's need for independence. She begins the novel as an unloved orphan who is almost obsessed with finding love as a way to establish her own identity and achieve happiness. Fire and Ice The motifs of fire and ice permeate the novel from start to finish. Fire is presented as positive, creative, and loving, while ice is seen as destructive, negative, and hateful. Bronte highlights this dichotomy by associating these distinct elements with particular characters. The cruel or detached characters such as Mrs. Reed and St. John are associated with ice, while the warmer characters such as Jane, Miss Temple, and Mr. Rochester are linked with fire. Religion Jane receives three different models of Christianity throughout the novel, all of which she rejects either partly or completely before finding her own way. Here I'd like to explain that why uh, fire is meant as positive and ice is meant as negative. In Europe, uh, cold is very boring or the winter season is very boring and the sunny weather or the summer season is like a blessing that's why fire is termed as positive creative and loving while ice is presented as negative destructive and hateful religion Jane receives three different models of Christianity throughout the novel all of which she rejects either partly or completely before finding her own way Social position. Bronte uses the novel to express her critique of Victorian class differences. Jane is consistently a poor individual within a wealthy environment, particularly with the root, with the reeds and a thorn field. Her poverty creates numerous obstacles for her and her pursuit of happiness, including personal insecurity and the denial of opportunities. The beautiful Miss Ingram's higher social standing for in a stance makes Sir Jane's main competitor for Mr. Rochester's love, even though Jane is far superior in terms of intellect and character. Gothic elements or supernatural elements. Bronte uses many elements of the Gothic literary tradition to create a sense of suspense and drama in the novel. First of all, she employs Gothic techniques in order to set the stage for the narrative. The majority of the events in the novel take place within a gloomy mansion, Thornfield Manor, which is like a haunted house, with secret chambers and a mysterious demonic lab belonging to the mad women in the attic. Bronte also evokes a sense of the supernatural, incorporating the terrifying ghost of Mr. Reed in the red room and creating a sort of Telepathic connection between Jane and Mr. Rochester. Symbols The Red Room. This is the room where a young Jane is confined when her aunt, Mrs. Reed, who raises the orphan child to the age of 10, punishes her. For Jane, the Red Room is a place of terror. Here she thinks she see, sees monsters and demons. The Red Room is Jane's fear of her own anger and her own power. In the early 80, 1800s, women are expected to be submissive and gentle creatures. 
The model of the angel in the house, an ideal of feminine purity and goodness, prevailed throughout much of the 19th century. Eyes The eyes are the widow, windows to the soul in Jaina. Jane is especially attracted to Mr. Rochester's black and brilliant eyes, which symbolize his temper and power. After Mr. Rochester loses his eyesight in the fire, Jane becomes his eyes. Metaphorically, Jane now holds the position of mastery. Bartha has bloodshot eyes that match her violent natures. The novel also emphasizes the mind's eye. An active imagination. Food. In Jaina, food symbolizes generosity, nourishment, and bounty. And hunger symbolizes cruelty and a lack of nourishment. Bronte uses food and hunger to reveal how people treat each other. Who is charitable and who isn't? For instance, the lack of food at Lowood reveals the school's cruelty and religious hypocrisy. Miss Temple, on the other hand, provides food and is compassionate and generous. Food has religious significance in the novel as well. Physical hunger represents a deeper spiritual craving. Portraits and Pictures Through dreams and drawings, Jane visualizes her deepest feelings. Jane's port portfolio contains pictures that symbolize her life. Portraits can also stand in for people's characters. Jane compares her portraits of herself and Blanche in Graham. That's the end of week 3. In week 4, you will learn feminism in Jane and other critical, other literary criticism. That's all. Thank you very much for this week. Talk to you next week. Bye-bye.